So what is React Native? What is the main principle of React Native? And it's to learn JavaScript and React once and then use it for everything. So in this case, it's for creating a native application. So this principle is not really new. Uh, we had uh, Ionic 2 now, and we had in the past, and I, I believe it's, we still do, we had PhoneGap and frameworks like that. So the idea of React Native is to write your JavaScript React code and then create an app that works for Android and iOS. And, some, and sometimes this is not completely true. It will work with some code uh, in most, uh, most uh, scenarios, but sometimes you will need to make some specific changes for iOS and sometimes for Android. So of course we will learn how to target different operating systems. So again, the main idea of React is to create an application with JavaScript which then is going to be translated to a real mobile application so we can install it and use it uh, and use the phone resources just like the camera or contacts or whatever. So why is React Native so different than others? Well, other technologies, uh, what they do, they use a frame or a web view, which is a native app. The, what is native? It's the web view. And this will render a web view just like HTML with JavaScript. So we have JavaScript and then you have your frame, which is the actual application. And this application will be installed in the phone and the phone, what's going to be using, it's the frame, but what uh, it, your application, it's, it's going to be really on HTML and JavaScript. So the nat native thing right here is the frame, not your application. And this is what it's different with React Native. We can create our application and React will compile our JavaScript to a native code for Android and for iOS. So this is why it's different. With the other frameworks, the native thing is gonna be the frame, but with React Native, it's your actual application, your real application. And this is why it's so great and it has uh, you know better performance and runs faster. And of course, React Native, it's really, really young and it is, it's in, in constant development and it's a little bit buggy sometimes, but don't mind that. There's always a workaround. Don't let this uh, bring you down. It still works really, really good. And a lot of companies use React Native. For example, we have Facebook, we have Airbnb, Instagram, Walmart, Adidas or Adidas, uh, SoundCloud, Wix, and you know, these are not small companies. So if you're thinking that you, you know React for web and you're saying to yourself, oh, okay, so we use React. I've already know React. I don't need to learn anything else. Well, yes and no. A lot of things will be the same. So you're kind of halfway there. For example, with React web, you render your components and you wrap everything inside of a div or a span or whatever, right? And then of course you do the render and you show your elements with JSX. We know that. Then for example, for Android, you have Android.view, that's gonna be the main wrapper. And for iOS, you have UIView. So with React Native, you still have a, dedica a dedicated component to show your code. And this one is gonna be views. And this is just an example. The same thing happens with other elements inside React Native. If you want, if you want to add an input, you have a, an element and a component ready to be used with inputs and you need to use that. You cannot use something else. So again, we just need to learn all the tools React Native uh, provides us to build an application. So in conclusion, we use our knowledge of React for web and JavaScript and everything will be compiled into a React Native code. Uh, but what we do, we use just JavaScript. Really, really awesome. Now, if you bought this course and you don't know anything but anything about React and you're kind of new to React, there's no need, to, uh, no need for you to stop this course and go to a different course and learn React for web, you know, the standard React. So you have two choices. You can keep going with this course and learn React as, as we go, or you can stop the course right now, go to the final part of this course, and you can have a tiny, tiny section that says bonus React web mini course. It's not a full course of uh, React, but it's part of a different course I have inside Udemy. So you can watch that, learn 
a React for Web, and then you can come back to React Native, and it's going to be much, much easier, right? Okay, so you can have a, you're getting two prizes, uh, two courses for the price of one. All right, so once you know all the basics of React, you have a tiny section for Redux because we will be using Redux. Just come back to React Native, and it's going to be a piece of cake for you. All right. So we need to do a lot of installing to run React Native. So let's go to the next section, and we're going to start with the easy, easy part, which is installing Node. 